Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette that is from their Peaches and Cream line that is exclusive to Sephora. I also did a review on the foundation if you want to see that one. I'll have it linked below. But this video is going to be all about this little palette right here which is filled with mattes and actually one of them is... I don't know, it doesn't really look like a matte. I tried out every single shade in the palette and I'm going to talk to you about what I think about it. I think I've been having great luck. I don't know if it's the products that I'm choosing or what, but a lot of products have been working out for me. So first off, look at how cute this is. I think this is my favorite packaging out of all of Too Faced's uh, packages ever. Like, I compared to the chocolate bars and all the other palettes, I think this one's really nice. It feels really nice. It's like that bubbly, plasticky feeling on top but it's really sturdy and then you have the two little peaches that are magnetic in the front to open it up you do get a big mirror in here and you get 12 shades yeah you get 12 shades and this is the overall look of it and I have seen the other peach palette the longer one which I'm kind of glad that I didn't get that one because this one has a lot more peach shades in the palette than that than that than that one so I'm like this is perfect then because I don't even need to get the other one I do have three of the those type of palettes and I don't need to get the peach one because I mean this one's just it's just right it has a lot of peach shades for today's look I am wearing nothing but this palette on my eyes and then the last two videos that I have this video right here I am wearing nothing but this palette and then this video same I just tried it out for a couple of days so that way I could see all of the shades and like play with them and see how I like them or what I think about them individually Individually. Um, so I'm gonna show you the way that I wore them how I did those looks and tell you what I think about the shades grabbing my notes Okay, so I'm gonna show you the last two looks that I did with the palette I did use my Tarte Shape Tape as a primer, but it's concealer and I set it with peach merengue Which is a very light color with a yellow undertone and then on the transition area I used peach cobbler and that one is a very warm peach brown shade. It's a very very pretty transition color that's one thing about the palette it's like you get a lot of transition colors that build up to a very nice nice tone then I did a cut crease for this look and it was kind of like a halfway cut crease a little bit I didn't go all the way out on the cut crease but I used my regular Tarte concealer for that on the inner part of that cut crease I used peach punch and that one's a very peachy like bright peach eyeshadow I really really like that eyeshadow and it's very pigmented you can build it up even more if you want to but it does show up true to color like the color that you see on the palette is what you're gonna get on your eyes it's really nice and then on the outer part of the cut crease I used just ripe just to darken it up a little bit which is like a purple burgundy type of matte eyeshadow and then on the brow bone I also used peach merengue which is the first color that I use like I said it's a yellow undertone type of eyeshadow out of all of the shades I noticed that peach merengue and be and peach butter which is like the two setting colors that I would use for setting um, those two are very very fine it's like using a powder like a very loose powder it's like a packed loose powder I don't know that's just how it feels to me it's very very fine um, and this is the way that it looks I only have a picture of it because I didn't film like a little you know a little bit of me modeling the eye look I like the way that it turned out the colors look great like they showed up the way that they were supposed to and they blended out really easily and the second day that I tried it out I went for a darker look and I also used the Tarte Shape Tape concealer same way as my primer I just been liking that as a primer it's like perfect um, and I set it with peach butter which is the eyeshadow with a pink undertone a really nice setting powder you know just looks good you can go either way with the yellow undertone or or a pink undertone and it'll look nice depending on what look you're going for uh, for the transition area I used fresh picked that one is another brown peach shade it's kind of like in between like you get a few transition shades like I said and they do have a different tone to them and then I concentrated that going a little higher on my eyelid because I wanted it to peek through the darker colors that I was gonna put below that and then on the crease area which was like really deep in my crease I used peach tart and that was just a regular dark brown but it's a pretty dark brown it's not like too too dark it's like the perfect like little chocolatey brown color I applied that in the crease area and I just blend it outwards um, but I didn't go too far out with that one because I wanted the look to look really dark on the eyelid area mainly and then on the eyelid all over the eyelid I packed on the color chocolate dipped and that one's a very very dark brown 
that shade has a lot of fallout like I had a lot of it on the bottom part of my eyes on my under eye area like it really just fell now it was pigmented it was on my eyes it did stick to my eyelids but a lot of it was like on the bottom of my eyes too and then on top of that I wanted it to look dark but I wanted more of like since it was like the peach the peach theme I wanted it to be more red like to have like a little bit of a red plummy tone to it so I used peach sangria and I applied that on top of the brown I like packed it on on top of the brown so it was a really dark brown but the peach color the peach sangria color did show up on top of the brown so that made it have like that um, more of like a wine tone to it I really like the way that that turned out too I would have liked it just with the brown shade but I wanted a little bit of the of the peach plum tone in there that one's the one that at first it didn't look like it was completely completely matte it looked like it had a little bit of shimmers in there but once I used it those didn't really show up so it was it was matte it was just not that matte it had a little bit of little shimmers or glitters in there very very tiny like you could barely tell my my look looked completely matte it was like deep dark like a grungy look but at the same time it was still like playful in a way with like that wine look I don't know I just I, I like the way that it turned out it was like what I imagined I wanted the look to turn out it did for today's look I used all the other colors that I hadn't used before so I'm gonna show you how I created today's look I also used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my primer and then I set it with the yellow undertone eyeshadow which is peach merengue and like I said it's a really nice setting powder and then and for transition I used peach tea and that one's just a light brown but it is buildable you can build up the color so I like it because it's a nice transition color but if I wanted a darker light brown I could do that because it did build up in my crease area and then today I also did a cut crease and this time I did go all the way on the outside and I did half and half I wanted to do a little bit of an ombre effect to where it went from light to dark but I didn't know that the eyeshadows were going to show up a lot brighter and a lot more like neon than I expected it was going to be lighter and I'm not mad at it I really like the way that it turned out but I didn't expect it so it was nice to see how bright they showed up on my eyelid but what I did is on on the inner cut crease I used peaches and cream and that one's a light peach shade it's a real true peach shade and then on the outer part of the cut crease I used peach I used just peachy and that one's the one that showed up even more neon like it looks really orangey like a real true true peach like those two shades are like the peachiest colors in the whole palette and I like the way that it turned out and then I just kind of went over the dark peach color with the light one and in between kind of like to do a little transition for it to like fade from light to dark so I really like the way that it turned out and I feel like it really stands out against like the black winged eyeliner and everything so I liked it I'm gonna give you a close-up so this is the light one like I said it's like a neon peach shade I really really like how it turned out like I wasn't expecting that I thought it was gonna be like a cream color almost um, and then the outer part is the darker peach shade and that one looks like a neon orange like a neon peach shade like it's really bright I like it and then I used that neon color on the bottom um, and then I didn't tell you but on the inner corner and on the brow bone I also used the eyeshadow that I set the concealer with which is peach merengue so this is the look and like I said it looks really nice against the black and then here are the swatches. I'm going to show you three rows of them, which is like from the top to the bottom. Peach Merengue, Peach Tea, Peach Cobbler, and Peach Tart. Then we have Peach Butter, Just Peachy, Peach Punch, and Just Ripe. And then the last row is Peaches and Cream, Fresh Picked, Peach Sangria, and Chocolate Dipped. A little bit of my Spanish came out. So like I said, I don't know if I'm having like good luck with the products that I've been picking up, but I'm actually very happy with the palette. And there's something different about this palette compared to the other like chocolate bar collection type palettes like the Semi Sweet, the chocolate bar, and then they have the Peaches one, which I haven't tried that one, so I don't know from that one, but the other one with the hearts. I do have those three, and I feel like the eyeshadows are different in this palette for some reason. They're like a lot smoother, they blend out a lot easier, and those palettes are great. Like they do blend out nicely but I feel like I don't know something about this one did did make me feel like it's very very pigmented and true to color and they blend out really nicely so like I said I don't know if it's like having good luck with 
products lately. I already came up with three looks, but I can already like imagine a few other looks that I can do with it, even though it only has 12 shades. I think they're really nice. Let me let you look again. But that's the reason why I wanted to show you um, how, you know, I apply them on my eyes. Because to me, I like them, but maybe you'll see the performance of them and you're like, eh, it's kind of. But to me, I'm really happy with it. So that's why I like to show you... I, I try to show you as many colors as possible or as many different looks that I can create with it. So that way you can see it yourself. Like me actually doing a look. I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, but it is $45. And it's just a little less than the other palettes that they have. I know it probably looks like a little small for $45. To me, it's a good price. It's like a worth it price because now that I've tried it, I know that it works nicely on me. Like I do like the way that they turned out. Like all of the looks, I didn't have any problem with any of them like not blending out or anything. The only thing, like I said, is that it did have a lot of fallout. The dark brown shade had a lot of fallout. But other than that, I like the packaging. I like the eyeshadows. I like that it has a mirror in case you need it. And it's a pretty good size. You don't have anything like too big and bulky or anything. So yeah, it's kind of a short video. There's not anything much else to say. So I think I covered pretty much everything. The swatches, you got the looks, you got my thoughts on it. So that is it. I will have it linked below in case you want to check it out for yourself. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Bye.